welcome. Thank you very much for joining us for another video today. We very much appreciate having you here. Once again, we are out here on Thrill Ride with my Uncle Perry. And Perry, thank you very much for having me out again, man. I really, really appreciate it. But anyway, we are headed offshore. We're going to be doing everything we can physically do to get some fish in the box to fish in the box and the first goal for the day is to get some good fresh bait. We are not having luck on the shrimpers, so we're just going to move along. Beautiful day, man. Got a nice rip. We're trolling along. Hey, Jeff, man. Along this slick line. We're about 75 miles out. What is it? Oh, Big Mike. Big Mike. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, here they come. Here they come. There we go. Fish on. Here we go, one on this one too. All right, I gotta put the right here, Paul. get you up to speed real quick so we don't got a whole lot of time here we are on our way out to a spot called the Nueces Dome it's past the continental shelf we are about 80 miles offshore but before we get there to do our uh, main fishing for the day we came across a good rip and we obviously already hooked up well uh, my cousin Jeffrey and I managed to get into a couple of mahi we got them in the boat and in the box Here's Jeffrey. killing them early so since we did so well right off the bat we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a troll here and see if we can't pick up something else. We are putting in work today, boys. Yeah. Wahoo! 
first Wahoo, but I got bad stories in the first one. So while we're out here trolling, what we did is we ran across a pipe floating around in the water. And that's where we got that last batch of, uh, that's where we got that last catch with the mahi and the wahoo. So instead of trolling around, we're going to take a moment and stop over by that pipe and see if we can't jig them up out of there. All right, Jeffrey, take me to some fish. We're going to be chumming them up good with all this blood we're washing into the water. These guys are looking at my bait. We drifted away from our spot, so we're headed back for round two.
Here, uh, I kind of want to keep it here because this one's just going to follow this guy. This up. All the other. Let's get him a slow motion shot of that guy. So we were talking, and uh, we think we should go do a sword drop. That's a good idea. <laughs> I think I'm done with mine. Besides, y'all are gonna have to play them on, not me. I my job to clean the boat. Yeah, I don't think that uh, that thought hadn't crossed my mind. Fresh, we have fresh made out there, maybe leave. That's a good mahi right there. I want get him. Good mahi. Y'all see where he went? Yeah, he took off. He went out front. He was going at a pretty good clip. You got another one down there to your right. No luck, huh? Oh, 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 that's a pretty one. There he goes. He's going to eat it. No, he turned away at the last moment. Excite, excite him into it. They're gone. You might, you might get that other one. Yeah, the other one's interesting, but it's a smaller one. I want that bigger one. I think that is probably the most beautiful fish in the sea right there. This cow's after, man. She wants it. I want that bull. He's right there. He's coming back. Yeah, yeah. Give him something exciting to chase. Come on, come on. You're going to lose it to your lady if you don't grab it. Good catch, guys. There you go. That is my. There's yeah, me. There Look at Perry getting all vlog style on that. <laughs> it's my personal best Dorado. Thank you very much, Perry. Well, you know, Good this fish. was one I was casting to. This is what took my bait. That one took his bait. I beat him to it. Damn it. <laughs> all right, throw him in the box. Let's see what we got in here. We got enough mahi. Yeah, we do. Let's ice those up good and Meat. go drop for a sword. Here you go, bud. Thank you, sir. So the bite is slowing down just a little bit with the Mahi Mahi. We're packing up now and we are preparing to get out to the Nueces Dome and we are going to drop for some swordfish. I'm ready for some swordfish. <laughs> If they're there to be caught, you'll get them. I have full faith in you. How about pin? Pins cross. Pins cross. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
All right, so uh, drop one wasn't a bust, but it wasn't exactly what we were looking for. This is a hake, one of the absolute best tasting fish in the sea. Not really. <laughs> They're okay. That's what you guys kept telling me. They're that's soft. Why giving it to you. Yeah, that's why they keep giving it to me. You want it? I wouldn't, my man. I'll play with it. I got a buddy that eats stuff like that. Oh, that's good. They're good. They're soft like sand trout. Yeah. We've been drifting this bait for a while now. We're not having a whole lot of luck with swordfish, obviously. We're not seeing any marks down below either. So we are going to go ahead and head back, but that doesn't mean it's the end of the day. We're going to have an eye out for tuna, and if not, well, then we are just going to go ahead and meet you down here on the docks. Now, we're not entirely done yet. we got a little bit more work ahead of us here. We got a lot of fish to fillet, so here we go. So this is a really weird find. These guys right here, that is the heads of a pair of file fish that we found in the stomach of one of these mahi. Now the thing that makes it weird is that those heads have been cut with a knife and used as bait. They ate them. And it worked because, yeah, this guy had two of them in his stomach. Had quite a few of them. So if you've ever seen anything like that, you have any input on to what is going on here, please leave a comment in the comment section down below because I would be very curious to see if anybody has some insight as to why that is a thing. Like that, Baby Wahoo. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see a few. Look at all those fillets. That's awesome. We're almost there. Yeah, I, I lied when I took this one. I said enough. I moved the bag of ice and several more. All right, Paul. I need Wow, this is going to be a long video. And so if you're sitting here watching this now, I cannot thank you enough for being here with us. You are a trooper. Go you. I would like to take a moment to thank our guys on Patreon. That'd be John, Cassie, and John. Their YouTube channels are JNC No Limit TV and AJ Outdoors. You guys are amazing. Cannot thank you enough for your support of this channel. And if anybody watching this would like to be a bigger part of this YouTube channel, we would love to have you. Check out our Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. Get on for as little as like a dollar a month. And that does huge things to help support this channel. So really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. If you enjoyed this video, maybe check out this one down below. That one has been hand-selected by Google just for you. And I guarantee it's probably the most amazing thing that your eyeballs have ever seen in your life. Hey guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. You have a wonderful day. I get out there and go enjoy your weekend.